episode 49 of DiabeticRadio.com. Um, I'm a bit under the weather today, so I'm going to try to get through this uh, video as best I can. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, today's episode is about connecting peptide, or C-peptide for short. What is it, and why is it overlooked? Well, first off, I should say, C-peptide has nothing really to do with type 1. That's a, one big mistake people uh, make. Um, neither does uh, the C-peptide tell whether you're a type 1 or not either. Uh, the C-peptide, um, to tell whether you're a type 1 or not, there are specific antibody tests that um, you can take to find out whether you're truly a type 1. But um, what the C-peptide is, is basically a way for the doctor to measure how well your pancreas is still producing insulin. And I think that this is a very good test that's always overlooked for people with uh, type 2 diabetes because C-peptide is only looked at um, for type 1, and that's just absolutely... Um, not true. And what C peptide is, it's a um, it's a molecule, a binder, that is produced at the same time that insulin is produced by the pancreas. And the doctor would give you a blood test, and he would measure the levels of C peptide that's in your blood, and that gives him an indication of how well your pancreas is still producing insulin. Now, as far as the actual uh, numbers, the levels. I guess sometimes that would depend on the opinion of the doctor. Um, sometimes it depends on the lab. Different labs have different ranges as to what's considered normal range and um, out of range. Um, so I and you know this is one of the reasons why it's a very good thing to see an actual endocrinologist. Not saying that. Um, a general practitioner or family practitioner is a good, but um, it's by far, I'm telling you right now, it's common knowledge that people with diabetes often get better help um, by seeing an endocrinologist in addition to their uh, doctor. Um, an endocrinologist oftentimes see things that a regular practitioner uh, does not. However, there are some general practitioners who are um, certified diabetes educators. I don't want to apply this to every general practitioner, but um, most of the time um, it is best to seek an endocrinologist, an endocrinologist that specializes in diabetes and metabolism. Not every endocrinologist specializes in, uh, in diabetes. Uh, so, um, this, again, this is grossly overlooked for people with type 2 diabetes because, um, why? Um, well, actually, any type of diabetes you have, if it's uncontrolled, it, it's, it's a progressive disease. And unfortunately, the fact of the matter is, most people, regardless of the circumstances, when you're type 2, by the time you find out that you're type 2, um, a lot of the complications already have uh, set in. And one of those complications is um, the pancreas losing its ability to produce insulin. And again, um, this has nothing to do with type 1. There are specific antibodies tests that is used to um, figure out whether someone is type 1 or not. This is something entirely different. When you're type 2 and your um, pancreas keeps uh, trying to pump out all its insulin to compensate for the high levels of sugar, what happens is that eventually your pancreas burns out and um, you're going to wind up being ins on insulin for the rest of your life. Now some people would see that as a bad thing. Um, um, I, don't, I don't think so because for as long as we have insulin, you can still live despite the fact that your pancreas isn't making as much insulin as, as it should or it used to be or not at all. 
Um, I mean, the best way I can think of a, that a type 2 should think is look at a type 1 who has no choice but to take insulin for the rest of their life. And there's nothing that they can't do. So, um, it it's beyond me why so many type 2s just see, uh, continue to see insulin as a failure. It's not. So regardless, whether you're type 1 or type 2, insulin is still helping to keep you alive. And this is one of the reasons why um, I disagree with certain medications like Glyburide. Because Glyburide forces your body, uh, forces your pancreas to produce more insulin. And um, in my opinion, um, Glyburide helps your pancreas to burn out a lot quicker. That's just um, my opinion. Um, so it's a very important test. And I believe in my personal opinion that the C-peptide test should um, be put on the same level as a creatine test. Um, the doctor, every time you, you go to your endocrinologist, your doctor would um, give you a creatine test to, to check to see how well your uh, uh, kidneys are doing. Um, it's a very, very important test for diabetics, especially especially if you are type 2 and you're taking certain medications like metformin that's something that you cannot bullshit on. You must go to the doctor and always, always get your kidneys checked. Always. And make sure that your kidneys are working fine and flushing out all the uh, impurities out of your body. And another good point is, um, you know, if you get the C-peptide test done, and you find out that you're not um, making that much insulin, um, and the doctor puts you on um, insulin, and may act, you may actually be able to reduce uh, some of the drugs that you're taking. Uh, may doesn't always mean that you can, um, but you may. You know, because this is overlooked with type two uh, uh, diabetics. Um, the uh, high levels of sugar will often seen as more insulin resistance and not really seen as your pancreas is losing its ability to make insulin. And I think this is a very um, important test uh, to have and make your doctor give you that test. Now, again, uh, there's some doctors that um, would have a difference opinion of opinion on those level numbers. Um, but the good thing about seeing a doctor is that you can always get a second opinion. And, um, you know, I hope this video helps you out. Um, and uh, I made through the video without coughing too much. Uh, so... Um, Love you guys. Hope everything is well. Uh, stay good and stay positive. Bye.